Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. And when it comes to enabling dark mode in Safari, the first thing to know is that Safari mimics your system settings. So if you have dark mode enabled in system settings on your Mac or in settings on your iPhone and iPad, that will enable dark mode in Safari. However, what you'll quickly realize is that not all websites behave the same way when it comes to supporting dark mode. Ideally, a website will respond to your system settings. So here, for example, Mac Rumors will automatically enable dark mode when my system setting is enabled. It's the same for both iPhone and iPad. However, unfortunately, in my experience, most websites don't support this feature. Some websites will have their own dark mode switch, which you can toggle on and off like so. However, what you'll likely find is that the majority of websites don't support either of these features. For these websites, there is a little trick I like to use, which is to enable the reader view. Having enabled reader, you can then click on the reader options to switch between light and dark mode. It's the same for iPhone and iPad. Tap on reader options and choose show reader. You can then tap on the icon again to choose dark mode if it doesn't appear automatically. Choose hide reader if you want to disable the feature or if like me, you prefer to read all of your articles this way, you can tap on website settings to enable this dark mode view for all of the articles on the website. If you really like the setting, you can go one step further and enable reader mode on all websites by opening settings, tapping on Safari, scrolling down to reader and enabling this option here. You can do the same on Mac. Control click on the URL to set reader view for the websites you're currently viewing. Or control click on the reader icon to open your reader website settings where you can enable the feature on all websites that you visit. The beauty of viewing articles like this is that it tends to block out a lot of the ads and it doesn't rely on your system settings. So you can have light mode enabled on your Mac, but use dark mode in Safari. Finally, if you don't like using reader mode, you can try using Safari extensions. Personally, I don't recommend using extensions because they track your internet usage. And if you want a good one, you're probably going to have to pay for it. However, I tried this one called Night Shift, which actually worked quite well. But annoyingly, you can't disable it from Safari's extensions menu. You actually have to go into settings to turn it off, which will likely get very tedious. On iPhone, you search for Safari extensions in the App Store. And I tried this one called Eclipse. Having installed the extension, tap on the reader options to enable it. You'll be prompted to allow the extension access to your internet usage, which is again why I don't recommend using extensions. However, once installed, it did work pretty well. So that is how to enable dark mode in Safari. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.